Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In tonight's video, I'm going to be comparing uh, and going over uh, two of what I feel, at least what I, I see in the forums, um, two of the most popular, uh, really three, uh, most popular ambidextrous safeties, um, safety upgrades on the market right now, and that would be the Badger Ordnance Condition 1 Modular Safety, uh, the Forward Control Design ASF, and the Forward Control Design Q Lever, uh, in comparison to your standard mil-spec um, ambidextrous safety. Now, I know some people absolutely hate ambidextrous safeties. They don't like feeling that other lever that may rub on the inside of their knuckle or their finger. Um, but if, if you're not one of those people or if you're left-handed such as I, um, you know, this video is not going to be for you. So you can go ahead and turn that off now. Um, but for the rest of us who like ambies, who, who are left-handed, um, pay, some, pay some attention because I do feel that, you know, in the current market, um, these safeties here are usually the ones that are considered the most top tier, uh, the most popular, whatever. Um, and do you feel that the Radian Talon reigned the market for many, many years? Um, and then, uh, you know, I think over the last year or so, it was uh, discovered that the, they can actually cause malfunctions by having the ability to overthrow in certain conditions. I don't remember what those, those conditions are exactly. Um, but the thing that turned me away from Radian Raptor safeties, or I'm sorry, Radian Talon safeties, is that I had one of my builds, I can't remember if it's one of these, where I was using a Geisley SSAE, and my trigger would not function correctly with the Radian Talon. Um, it, it seemed like when you pulled the trigger, there was a very slight delay between the hammer actually dropping. At first, I thought maybe I was just, you know, a late night after building, didn't notice it, uh, but definitely, you know, figured out something's definitely wrong here. Doing a little bit of Google Foo, uh, come to find out that is actually a, a, a common problem with the uh, Radian Talon safeties, um, not compatible with all Geisley triggers. Interestingly enough, the same uh, receiver tried a uh, ssp trigger had no problems um tried the ssae with the standard lmt uh, mil spec safety had no problems it was just a talent so that was the problem that i ran into the, uh, ran into them with personally and after that happened i stopped using radiant talents altogether so um kind of going into get this guy out of the way here uh, it, it's there, why i mentioned there's three different safeties two of them are really kind of the same i do feel that uh, th this video is really going to center a lot around between the badger ordinance versus forward control design and then of course how they compare to a standard mil spec ambi safety um it's kind of getting the obvious out of the way here first and foremost um the appearance wise of them uh as you see here the badger ordinance um, has a little red forward indicator that when you click it in, it shows you where you need to be. Um, I, I guess it's just kind of a little nice to have uh, for a visual, a visual, but anybody who is uh, accustomed to AR-15s will know which position, just by feel, what is safe and what is not. Um, as you see here with the forward controls design, you do not have that. Again, just me personally. Um, Kind of a cool factor, getting a little bit of color fill in there, but you know, not really something that is uh, necessary. <clears throat> Going into the four control designs, uh, you'll notice that um, two different styles here. You have your standard ambidextrous safety, and then you have your Q lever. And as you can tell here, the lever is biased more towards the top of the throw lever itself. Uh, and I'll get into that more. Um, a little bit so other differences between the two <clears throat> is the the throw themselves so with the badger ordinance you have a 60 degree throw uh, with how that differs from a standard mil spec is that you have a 90 um, you know when you have uh, when you have in the safe position it is straight forward and back and when you put it in the fire it is a 45 degree throw to put it in the fire mode and it is straight up and down. With the Badger Ordnance, you have a 60 degree throw, so it is reduced. You don't have to push that lever quite as far to put it on fire, and you don't have as much uh, distance to, or travel in order to put it back on safe. When it comes to the four control designs, 
it is a little bit different. Um, the ASF, whether it be the standard configuration or the Q, um, you either get a 50 degree, which I have for both of these here, or you get your standard 90 degree. Um, one advantage of the Badger Ordnance is that you can configure with this one safety, whether you want it to be um, 60 degrees or whether you want it to be 90 degrees without having to buy anything extra. <clears throat> with the forward control design, it's either or. You can buy these safety levers, both the Q and the standard, in the 50 degree throw, or you can buy them in the 90 degree. Uh, you cannot do both. It is not modular like the Condition 1. Now, how that makes a difference, um, I will go ahead and click that into the fire position position along with the Badger Ordnance. Um, and as you can see side by side, you see that 10 degree difference in between them. Again, the Badger being 60 degrees and the uh, forward control design being 50 degrees. You do have a little bit more travel in order to flick it in the safe and fl flick it in the fire. Um, do you notice that you, yes, you can see it by eye. Do you really notice it so much by feel? Uh, you know, some people I'm sure will tell you that they swear they can feel the difference on it. Um, me, I really can't just by feel, I don't really feel much of a difference. Where the Q levers come into play here, um, is you see that it is offset a little bit higher according to forward control design. It is, um, designed that way so that a shooter does not have to change the position of his hand in order to flick it from uh, firing position into safe. I don't know how much that really makes a difference whatsoever. I can't say that even with, uh, any standard safety, uh, that I did notice much of a difference. Um, or even with a 90 where I really had to change the position of my hand in order to move it into either position. Uh, I will do, uh, say though that with the, um, the standard, or I should say with the Badger Ordnance being 60 degrees, uh, it does, you know, obviously when you're in the safe position, all of these, so whether it be any of these or the mil spec, uh, it is the safety lever, the position of it will be straight forward and back to the receiver or the barrel, whatever it may be. So any difference that you see in degrees is going to be clicking it off safety. With the Badger Ordnance being 60 degree, having a little bit more travel closer to 90, it does place it in a little bit more favorable position uh, to click it into safe than it does with the forward control design being in 50 really kind of negligible but it does it there is a little bit of a difference there <laughs> in my opinion if anything with the q design um it almost seems like being the same uh 50 degrees as the standard asf it almost put, puts it in a position where it's further out of a more natural reach to flick it into the safe position i almost feel that having the on with the Q lever, having the Q more biased towards the bottom would make it be in a more favorable position uh, to flick it into the safe position. But um, again, according to forward control design, uh, this is the direction that it's supposed to face. The lever is more uh, oriented towards the top. Um, this is not ambidextrous. And speaking of ambidextrous, I want to get into that now um, with these Q levers. Like I said, being that they are designed to be biased more towards the top, when you purchase a Q lever from uh, FCD, you have to pick between left hand and right hand. Uh, being that if you were to switch these around to the other side, uh, the levers would then be biased on the lower side. So Going against the grain of what Ford Control Design uh, designed these Q levers, levers for, if you were to find that you like the lever position more biased towards the bottom and you were a left-handed shooter like me, maybe it would be in your better favor um, to buy the right-handed side where you have the longer lever uh, on one side and the shorter on the other, and then you can just swap them around. But again, that's, that is not the way that they were designed. <clears throat> Moving to the ASF, the standard ASF, um, you can swap these levers. As you see with AMBs, you typically always have a longer lever on one side. I don't want to say always, but that's favorable, and a shorter lever on the other side so that you have less possible interference with your um, inside of your knuckle here. 
uh, I can tell you that I do uh, appreciate the design more so. Um, so if you buy the standard ASF, you're just buying one, um, and then you can swap them around. Now, all, I do want to mention as far as mounting, all three of the safeties, uh, they are a little different from your conventional safety. You know, whether it be ambidextrous or non-ambidextrous, um, most all almost all safeties are just like this. You have a screw that secures and goes through and holds your outside plate. So even if this was a standard safety where you didn't have the screw lever on there, um, you would just have this surface and a screw that ties it in, and that's what keeps it from falling out of the receiver. Um, that is your most common, and that is the standard design. Uh, with all three of these, uh, basically you have the center here, which is called the barrel. Um, you these are keyed or notched for the safety levers. You slide those on, and then there is a roll pin that comes with uh, all of these, as you see here, that you will tap these in. Same thing with the Badger Ordnance. And of course, both for control design are the same design. Uh, being that they're keyed, there is zero stress that's put on to the um, roll pin itself. Both of these, you know, if you go to the websites, whether it be Badger Ordnance or whether it be Ford Controls Design, they give you the specs of all the steel, you know, types of steels they're made out of, along with the, the proof loading that they're capable of. To my mind, cool, but not really relevant because you're just flicking this with your thumb. Um, <clears throat> Different with, with the roll pins, uh, I will say it is a lot easier just because of the design of the safety levers itself to install them in the forward controls design than it did. I did have uh, experience with the uh, Badger Ordnance. Um, the forward controls designs, of course, you need two roll pins uh, per installation, one on each side. They send four, uh, two backups just in case you happen to screw one up. Um, for the life of me, I cannot find the packaging that I have for the Badger Ordnance. I feel like there was extra roll pins. In fact, I almost 99.9% .9 sure want to say that it came with extra roll pins because the Badger Ordnance was the first uh, safety that I installed, or well, the ones before the forward control design, and I did screw up one of the roll pins upon installation, um, and I, I know I did have extra. So... Uh, whether it comes with three or four, I don't exactly remember. You do have extras just in case you do happen to screw up the installation. Uh, in order to really help that out when you're installing it, really any roll pin whatsoever, you should be doing installation with a um, roll pin punch, which are specific design with domes on the top of them uh, that really aids in installation of the safeties themselves. Um, <clears throat> going a little bit more into the modularity of the Badger Ordnance, um, when you buy this set and it comes as a complete set, what you get is one long lever, one shorter lever, uh, and then another piece that's really just kind of a nub. It doesn't have a lever, but it does have the pointer here in case you're not worried about any type of uh, ambidextrous setup, whether it be left hand or right hand, and it is fully ambi. So you can put the long lever on either side, short lever on either side, or just the nub indicator on either side and set it up at 60 degrees or 90 degrees, uh, no matter what. So that makes it very, very versatile um, in comparison to the forward control design where you either have to buy a 50 degree or you have to buy a 90 degree. Um, and if you buy a Q lever, you have to make sure that you're buying uh, the right side. Uh, so I think in, in, in that concern, the Badger Ordnance holds the... Um, gives you an advantage over the forward control design unit. Now getting into the feel of both of these safeties, or each of these safeties, um, they, they both are very crisp and very tactile, as you can hear there. Um, and again, while both of them are very tactile and have great feel of them, I do want to say that the forward controls design, whether it be the Q levers or the standard ASFs, have a slightly better feel than the Badger ordinances. Um, it's, I, I don't know if you even want to say better, it's just different. And just for my personal preferences, I do like the way that the four controls design feels a little bit better in hand. That being said, going to a mil spec, 
they're, they work just as well. Uh, besides having a longer throw on them, uh, you, as you can hear, both very tactile. I will say that one difference between them is that it feels like there's a little bit of grit in your standard mill spec ambidextrous safety. And if I haven't mentioned before, this one is an LMT unit. Um, the four controls design is definitely, it's like butter. It is like cutting through butter, just super smooth. The Badger Ordnance, just a little bit less so, but I don't know if you can see it on camera there, but you can tell that once you commit to throwing the lever, you can get it that it's not hanging up. It's not dragging. It's almost just like a delay in getting it between the two positions where the forward control design, it just clicks. You're safe or you're fire. There's really no in between. Once you start pushing it, it really wants to jump into the next position. So um, some people may even say that's a con. Some people may say that they want the ability to slowly but surely uh, click their safety lever on and off due to maybe for sound reasons or whatever reason possible but there's just a little bit of difference between these two brands and your standard mil spec ambi now let's talking about available colors uh the badger ordinance um it comes in black and it comes in flat dark earth uh i do have obviously as you see here the black one on this uh i do also have the uh, flat dark earth on my trusty mark 18. you see a little bit of color uh, difference between the two instead of having the red arrow pointer it has a black arrow pointer uh, but being a badger ordinance condition one same thing short lever long lever nub ambidextrous 60 degree 90 degree Whatever it is that you choose, it is the same, whether it be uh, black or tan. When it comes to the forward control design, um, you can get them in black. You can get, get them in flat dark earth. I know for a fact you can also get them in ODG. Uh, I'm not sure off the top of my head of what the standard uh, color offerings are from forward control design themselves. i do f pretty sure the ODG um, was a specialty Cerakote color. I want to say I got it from Revival Defense, maybe even got it from Primary Arms. But if you go to their website, I, I want to say that the only colors available for the forward control design is going to be black. And if you want, for sure, obviously they make Flat Dark Earth and also making an ODG. There may be other colors that are available, available as well. I'm not 100% sure on that one. I can't remember, uh, but there's that. And lastly, let's talk about cost. Uh, so... Both these offerings or all these offerings offerings between Badger Ordnance and Forward Control Design, they are definitely not cheap. Um, LMT, if you want to buy this uh, safety from them, I want to say that it's roughly around $30. Um, pretty, pretty inexpensive. Uh, Arms Unlimited, they offer an ambidextrous safety, uh, one that has a shorter lever on the other side uh, and that can be set at, I, I think it's 55 degrees or 90 degrees. Does also feel very well and you can get that for 20 or 25 bucks. These safeties are definitely uh, a lot more than that. Uh, typically the Badger Ordnance in black runs around $82. Uh, the one that's in flat dark earth is, is about five or six dollars more. Um, when you're talking about the Ford Control Design, your standard ASF, is like $78 and then the Q levers add another five or six dollars to that as well. So definitely not the, between these three offerings. They are not cheap. Um, so that being said, uh, I, I know a lot of parts or when it comes to AR-15s and accessorizing them, customizing them out. Um, for a lot of people, cost is a big factor into uh, whether they're going to purchase something or not. Do I feel that if you are pinching pennies um, or if $80 is, is you know, a, a chunk into your budget, is upgrading to any of these three safeties going to be worth spending an extra $50 more um, to get one of these over a standard mill spec safety? In my opinion, I'm going to say the answer is no. <laughs> really, in reality, an AR-15 the way that it comes is it functions perfectly well. It has been proven for decades over decades. Um, and everything that we get and accessorize on top of that, 
are really kind of nice to have. So yeah, sure, charging handles, upgrading from a mil spec to something that's ambi. If you're left-handed like myself, yeah, it can be worth upgrading to an ambidextrous safety. Um, having ambidextrous controls on non-ambi uh, lowers, which I don't have any here. You know, so sp spending the money to buy the um, ABCR or the EMRA, uh, yeah, that can definitely be advantageous if you're a left-handed shooter and you need that type of things. But going back to just the safeties, while I do really like these safety levers, uh, they feel excellent. Um, if, if, if you're scrimping for cash and, or you could rather redirect that money somewhere else, somewhere more useful, upgrading one of these over a standard mil spec, uh, type safety, ambi safety, no, it's not worth the money. It's not one of those things that it's not, doesn't make a big difference. Sure, it is nicer. You know, when you have a shorter throw, anything you can do to click it between safety and uh, fire could be uh, advantageous. In, in maybe, let's say, for, for time or speed factor. But it's going to be milliseconds that you probably won't even notice. Um, though, I will say that with the exception that, you know, with a standard one, you do have um, more more room for error. And if you kind of caught that on camera right there, my knuckle, my pointer knuckle, kind of can keep this thing from going all the way into the fire position. You don't ever run into that problem when you have a 50 degree, a 60 degree, or 45 degree safety. Um, so, you know, let's just say in the heat of the moment, you go to push it and you don't exactly get it all the way into the fire position. Um, and you risk, you know, not being able to fire a weapon. I guess that could be a consequence or maybe worth, you know, upgrading to one of these safeties. But I think overall, um, it, it's fit, paying $50 more for safety for any of these. $50, you know, give or take a few bucks. Um, I'm going to say no. It's not a necessity. Uh, divert that somewhere else. But if, you know, it's something that you want to, that you feel is going to be a better, a better solution for you, by all means, uh, Pick one of these up. They are great. All right, so that wraps it up for this video. Hopefully it could help some of you people out there who are uh, on the fence about deciding between these two safeties or upgrading over a standard mil spec or maybe um, who weren't aware about the issues that can possibly come with the Radiance. I do feel that is the exception and not the norm. Uh, the Radiant Talent is still a great safety. Just for me personally, I've gravitated away from them. So uh, appreciate all the views and the comments. Um, if you like this uh, video, please make sure that you like and subscribe. Uh, share it wherever you would like. Definitely appreciate that. And uh, see you in the next video.